The best thing to do to trap your soul is to work on your own emotions about the opposite gender. Right? Or, and, don't, and don't assume that what I'm saying is that um, there's no <coughs> such thing as a lesbian soulmate couple or a, homo or a homosexual soulmate couple. Because the truth is that at least 10% of soulmate couples are either lesbian or homo homosexual couples. And it's the way the soul split that controls that. Right? So again, but the same issue is still feel your own emotions, deal with all the things about the opposite gender. <laughs> Because they are all stuff to work through, and about your own gender, of course, too. Right? So deal with gender-based emotional injuries, in other words. So if you're a male, deal with how you feel about yourself as a man, and deal with how you feel about women. If you're a female, deal with how you feel about yourself as a woman, and deal with how you feel about men. Work through those emotions. When you do that, you will attract your soulmate. Many of you will find perhaps that you're with your soulmate <laughs> already. And that often does happen. Right? Yeah. Most people meet their soulmates on earth, and many people historically have married them. They're just not aware of it even on earth. It's only when they pass in the spirit world they realize that they were soulmates. Yeah. Right? The soulmate relationship, you can get together with your soulmate and not have a soulmate relationship. Remember, a soulmate relationship is going to be a relationship where you connect on every level energetically. Now, if you've got an injury, say in the second chakra area about unworthiness, are you going to be able to connect in that area? Obviously not. You see a lot of soulmates on earth connecting in friendship areas or love areas from the heart, but not sexually. You see that happening quite a lot because of the sexual injuries they have. So they connect as friends and they feel really drawn to that person, they can't sort of be away from that person for very long they feel really drawn but they're not connection, connecting sexually because of some sexual injuries you follow me? Mm. so you see that happening quite a lot where, and you see other ones where they're connecting sexually but they're not connecting mm. in their heart and they're not connecting with truth and they're not connecting in, a fear, in their fear you know, the, the opposite to fear you know, where, where you don't, where you're fearless way they're not connected there so they're just connecting in the sexual way you see that happening a lot too. So the key is to just deal with all of those injuries and that will attract your soulmate to you.